So that mud puddle that I went through in the tracker or in the samurai, we're going out to cut wood and this guy just got stuck in the mud. Or we just passed this guy stuck in the mud. So get the GoPro so we can record this. You could tell he he didn't he had no idea what he was about to do. He was getting him himself into that trail. Uh, uh, why are we turning? That's deep for even our trucks. With the 35s and the lifts and all that, it, that's deep for us. This guy was in this stock little old Tacoma, small Tacoma, or Frontier, one in foreign trucks. in trying to keep traction or something I don't know probably had an open rear end hit the mud you're screwed anyway might as well just go all the way in we were going in the main trail we we're going along that one right there had a sign that said hold on turn the traction control off here because we almost just got stuck in that mud like that other guy but uh they said there's a flash flood area down there, so we can't go down there. I recorded this little clip on my phone because I didn't have my camera gear. The other day, I kind of messed up the truck. Whew. Yeah, the truck I'm driving now. You know that's what you do about the tracker, now I broke the truck. I'm just breaking shit. No, um, we went to go we are playing the mud, we had one of our neighbors talking shit, saying his truck's better than everybody else's, this and that, the other, whatever, so. I said, fuck it, let's go find out. Well, we're going up this trail, dirt trail, and my power steering just dies. You know, but electronic power steering, it's not like, oh, camera's there, okay. As the electronic steer power steering, it's not like a, it doesn't have fluid or anything like that. So it's just this fucking computer that decides to not work, basically. So we're going, you know, we can take you on the trail, you know, gotta get out of it. We hit this fucking mud hole. Power shit comes back. Awesome. Sweet. And then we go to some other mud holes. And then it's off and on, whatever. End of the day, ended up, I kept my power steering. It only really went bad when I hit that, when I was hitting bad bumps. Which does conclude to the inevitable, it's gotta go to the dealer. So I came home, I took the tune off of it. So it's back to factory tune, so I can't say anything like that was part of it. I will say though, I haven't had any terrible luck with vehicles since we both know, or we all know that the tracker is fucked up as well. Um, I actually haven't torn into that yet. But if you look here, Samurai's in the way. Now, I can kind of fit right here. But, right there, right there is my toolbox. And, no battery for this is blinking. So everything's dying. So, last night we had somebody else stuck in that puddle. The one that we pulled the little Tundra Frontier thing out of. I had just gotten home, just put beer in the fridge, just started a little laundry, was gonna get a shower, relax. No one else is at the house. And I see your neighbor John pull up. Now he only pulls up if all of us are home usually. So I'm like, well, what the hell? So I go out there and, hey, what's going on, John? And he's like, you got a tow strap? Oh shit, I know where this is going. So of course, check the back of the truck. Yep, got a strap. He's like, all right, we got this kid stuck out here just down the street. Let's go get him. Okay. He's like, yeah, it's where we, it's where we went that one time. And uh, that one time is when I went took the samurai through that mud puddle. So I knew exactly where we were going and exactly what I was coming up to. 
So we want our on up there and there's a Zev 150. One tire fire just like my truck, except it's got stock wheels and everything on it. Down to the axles. I mean, the front steering rack was in the fucking mud. The rear end was in the mud. His tow hitch was just barely above the mud. I had to dig in the mud to hook up to that. So I ain't got them for a while. I'm not getting nowhere because I'm a two-wheel drive too. So I had to call the cavalry. So I called Christina and I was like, hey, where are you at? Because they were home. They were down the street. So I told them what's going on. They came and they had them. Now, like I said, I had just gotten home and just put beer in the fridge. And John came up and said, let's go save this motherfucker. So I didn't have time to grab my camera. John did record a little bit and I'll show you that clip. This is a comedy of errors here. Ace for horses. And silly rabbits. <laughs> Ace for horses and okay. silly rabbits. Okay. He's, work here. he's stuck. A <laughs> genius born every minute. Yeah, hook it up right. Quit messing around. I'm watching Jeremy. Say hi for the camera. Hi. <laughs> <coughs> well, throw that thing away. Can we get your debit card before you get out of here? No, I'm, I'm fine with you. Okay, you can Facebook pay me. I'm on there. Facebook no, pay. No, I feel so bad about that. We're just messing with you, dude. <laughs> I'm a sucker for GoPro stuff. Every time we go anywhere, I always look at the GoPro stuff. I don't need any more GoPro stuff. I never even use my own current GoPro. But we are getting this. I need this one, the USB mini, for my tuner. I'll tell you why in a minute. Look at all the mud we have on here from helping this fucking kid. Look, these are new pa clean pants and they're already muddy. Okay, so I did, no, it's essential. I did end up getting a different one. But I needed one of these because Christina stole mine. That's a normal micro USB, so I can use that anyway. That's not ugly. And then the mini USB. Now, my lovely Diablo Sport tuner here requires a stupid mini USB, not micro like every fucking thing else in the world these days. Well, it's about time that the warranty's almost up. I'm gonna go ahead and tune it. So I was, I've been talking to a guy, uh, Jay Green, he does a lot of uh, Hemi truck tunings, he's really good at it. I've been talking to him, he's just waiting on my files. So, I realized that I fucking lost my cable that I needed, so I'm hoping this adapter deal shit thing works. I'm going to go get me a breakfast burrito and go to work and upload these files. So, we'll see if it works or not. Oh, and I don't think I ever told you guys, but... My power steering was fixed. It ended up being a loose battery connector, which is the first fucking thing we checked that night that it went out. But it was a loose connector. So they looked at it, it was like, well, what the fuck? Tightened it up, or took it off, there's a bunch of mud under it. Took that out, and it worked. Now, it only kind of worked. I had power steering, there wasn't much resistance. drive. There wasn't much resistance. However, at certain fuck you. At certain uh, angles or turns or sides or whatever, I wouldn't have steering. Well I would, but I wouldn't have as much as I usually do. Basically for example, 
if I go this way, right about here, it'd get kind of stiff and give me some resistance. And then here, as I power through it, it'll be normal again. Or all oh, this turn wouldn't be easy like this, it would be a little bit stiffer. I have mud everywhere from helping this kid. This Jeep was here when I started pulling in, and then I stopped to explain everything to you, and I came back and he's still here. They are so slow in the morning sometimes. Work was terrible. That was the busiest day I've ever had at this job. But data transfer didn't work for the tuner for that uh, cable. I ordered a new one, should actually be here tomorrow, or probably today for you guys. And hopefully we'll be able to go from there, which is good timing though, because I've got to take the tune off to give it back to the dealer again. It went to the dealer not for the power steering, but for some other warranty work that I had to get done. So it's got to go finish all that work. The half parts in should be done. Tune's got to come off. Gives Jay time to write the tune, and all will be well. This bullshit. She's got all that room. I, if she moved up, I could order. I could order. We can go on with life. If she just moved the fuck up and you had to drive her goddamn car. And on that note, I'm gonna end it here. We'll update you guys once we know more about what the tune's going on and everything like that. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't. Give it a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Share it. And as always, social media in the description below.